Hey guys, this is Aaron Beinert. Um, I want to welcome you to uh, my Patreon account where I'm going to put together a series of tutorials um, showing you the pipeline for collectible sculpting straight through from uh, a ZBrush model and depending on the interest that we get I'm hoping to take that all the way through to a painted prototype. Um, I will be doing all of the ZBrush sculpting I will be showing you how to correctly key and uh, process the final ZBrush file, uh, run it through NetFab, um, maybe we'll do a little bit of work in Maya, um, and then we will output that uh, on a 3D high-end 3D printer, and then um, hopefully go through a mold making process, casting cleaning up the casting, and maybe even get as far as a painted prototype. Um, what I'm running through here is just a slideshow of work that I've done um, throughout uh, the various stages of my career. Uh, I started out as a sculptor at McFarland Toys uh, about 13 years ago. Um, I started my career as a traditional sculptor, meaning I used analog uh, sculpting stuff like wax and um, physical tools to create the prototypes, um, eventually switching over to digital modeling uh, in about 2000, I'm going to say 11, I made the switch, 2011 or 2012. Um, I'm currently a senior sculptor at Blizzard Entertainment, um, where I utilize all the skills that I've developed over my career, um, both traditionally and digitally. I'm responsible for doing a lot of uh, up-resing for video game models for um, high-end 3D outputs. Um, I'm still responsible for doing a lot of posing and anatomy work. And then on top of that, I'm still handling a lot of mold making and casting. I clean up toolings. Um, so I really am familiar from top to bottom with the whole prototyping pipeline for collectibles uh, within the entertainment industry. Um, so I'm hoping that you'll uh, get a lot out of this tutorial and we'll have um, some fun together doing this. It is going to be extremely involved obviously and of course my ability to continue doing this depends on the support that I get um, because I need to get our finished product um, output and as you know a high-end output from a really good 3D printer is not cheap, um, but hopefully we'll get the ball rolling and we'll make that happen. Uh, so as far as the sculpt itself goes, I'm going to stop this uh, slideshow here. I want to do something I thought you know a fair amount of people would be interested in, and we'll kind of exploit all of my skill sets. Uh, all along the, the whole pipeline. So I picked this um, domino concept, well it's a painting I guess, by um, Gabriel Delato uh, from the Sex and Violence um, Marvel comic. And uh, you know I think it's really going to exploit everything that I know. Uh, we're gonna break down the anatomy and go through all of the uh, tools and resources that I use to create a, a realistic um, human form um, and then going into all the detail work, all the accessories, sculpting a portrait, um, sculpting hair and everything else involved and then from there we will break it down um, into its various parts so that we can get it um, printed and of course keeping in mind the whole time that we need to make molds that are successful and we got to be able to pull castings from those molds and um, as you can imagine it is a really involved process but I think it's something that a lot of people will benefit from because over and over you see a lot of really talented uh, 3D artists that uh, create they create fantastic prototypes but that's where their pipeline ends and I think that it would be very empowering for uh, more artists to understand what happens after their great ZBrush sculpt is done. Um, 
even uh, even people that are involved in more traditional skills, if you're sculpting in clay or wax, perhaps you could tune in later um, if, if we get that far and I can break down the whole mold making and casting process for you because that's something that it's not the, it's not a very glamorous side of the industry, but the way I look at it is, um, and I can attest to this, the more you know, the better off you are because obviously if you can take the whole process from beginning to end and prove to a company that you're capable of providing them a finished prototype that's ready to go into production, you have made yourself a very, very rare artist. Uh, and you will be amazed at the demand that you can create for that skill set or for those skill sets. So um, let's see what we can do. Um, I really appreciate everyone's support, and I hope that, like I said, everybody can get something valuable out of this. Thanks.